Hello, everyone. Time to grind. Oh no, that's that's something else. Grind to time. Time to grind here. I don't. I dude. I, grind I, to time and time and grind to time to neon skunk. apes. There we go. That's that's how yeah. we that's how we loop it all back in. Um, but uh, if you guys didn't know, I'm time to grind. Uh, what are you guys' names? In uh, case Daniel not Daniel not. Um, and you're Hiroshima, Matthew, also known as Sut- Sutter. S- <laughs> Not two, two. Hey, hold. What's two plus two equal? Oh, it's uh, it's eight. Ah. Man, I can't believe that was. Yeah, that was my that was my kid username. Are two there, plus two there equals any four. Who eight. Were, would be like so OG on your channel, like subscribed so long. Oh no, it was you never two plus two equals eight. Around. You made it. Yeah, when and I made that's my why it first YouTube channel. Oh wait, yeah, I remember you rebranded all of your online accounts from two plus two equals eight to time to grind. Yeah, after I made after I made that, what were what were you guys's? Did you guys have any old? I had Deponer one twenty. Deponer one twenty. That was bad. That was real bad. I've been not Daniel for so fucking long. I used to be Daniel the Epic because. Oh, that's what it yeah. was. Yeah, man. It was eight. Like back when Roblox days, which Roblox is bigger than it was when we were a kid, which is uh, kind of right? crazy. Um, I looked it up. A couple of the items I have in my Roblox character are worth like 40 bucks now. Dude, you need to sell those. Yeah. You need to sell those, man. Get get rich with... Uh, dude, I can't wait till um, NFTs get in the uh, Roblox. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. NFT items. I yeah. keep seeing these ads for games that are trying to be like Roblox, but like the whole gimmick is that there's NFTs in it. And it's like... If you're Roblox, but with NFTs, that that is the worst. Roblox basically already had a bunch of sh- NFT shit in it. Like, yeah, it, it, it has it cosmetics. Like, there were one of cosmetics where it's like, oh, this is super rare because like only five people have it. Yeah, but it wasn't like tied to stupid blockchain, uh, weird stuff. I saw that um, Ubisoft or Ubisoft, however you pronounce it, they announced NFTs in one of their um, Tom Clancy games, I think, or I, I think hope the before. franchise burns to the ground or. What the divi- or no? Maybe it was the division, but I think that's what spec ups the division. I don't know if that's that. Whatever. Or, but either way, the YouTube announcement got so many dislikes. Even though that dislikes are no longer visible on YouTube, there's a Chrome extension that allows you to see the dislikes, and um, they, it was so disliked that they uh, unlisted the video. Hmm. So it's funny that I really hope I know YouTube's gonna somehow like make it where you can't like extensions can't get the dislike API or something. But it's just, it's so bad missing that YouTube it dislike. Is, no, it sucks, especially if you're trying to, like, do some shit on, like, your car, for instance. Oh, mm-hmm. You can tell shit videos because they'll have a ton of dislikes, but you can't do that anymore because... They mm. don't want cyberbullying. Yeah, well, but see, the problem is, Fucking is, like, there's so much spam and, vi- like, like, I literally saw a video that was Mr. Beast, and it was like, click here for $5,000, and I knew it was, like, a virus, or what, but I clicked it because I wanted to report it. And then I looked at the dislikes and I realized like you can't tell like there's, there's no dislikes. So no one knows that it's it seems like every like solution YouTube brings to every problem is the literally just a band aid on like an open like fractured like a wound that also has a compound fracture in it. And you're just like, OK, <laughs> there we saw the bleeding. It's fine. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> yeah. Like getting rid of dislikes is going to solve cyberbullying on YouTube. Yeah, no. Because that was the real force driving it. See, I wonder what it was though. Like, I wonder why they actually. I, th- I feel like they wanted to remove dislikes. They got really salty for... because their YouTube rewind got the most disliked video for a while. Oh yeah, uh, the, that was. Man, maybe they should try not being such a shit company. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's wild though, and it's crazy how like in the same same way YouTube is like so much better for. Sh- it, streaming right now it's weird they're making like actual leaps and bounds in like the live streaming market and twitch is just continuously like being pretty bad so it's like it's just so interesting to like see how all the land space like develops but i feel like youtube is if it doesn't change trajectory gonna die and like you know something else is gonna have to take its place but we'll be stuck with it for a while because it's so big it's gonna take a while yeah. to die that's yeah, what I- I, that's gonna be a world where like YouTube and Twitch and like Instagram aren't popular anymore. Oh, oh yeah, man. yeah, they'll have been replaced by some app where you instantaneously transmit like your most hot takes to the <laughs> internet. 
I, I know uh, Facebook and Instagram, they've been having like an existential crisis in their company because they know that no young people are using their products. So they're literally just watching their player, their, you know, not player base, but their, you know, share, like, user go down. base. Yeah. Cause all the, you know, older people are dying <laughs> or just getting dementia and no longer know how Facebook works. Remember in Iron Man, the first one, he says, we'll just go on MySpace. Even in 2008, that felt like old, old joke. Like, like. Cause I can't, I can't, even when I was eight, the only thing I knew about MySpace is I was dead. That's the only thing I knew about it. Mm-hmm. Same. Yeah. I know uh, everyone always talks about, I never used it because you know, I wasn't you know a college student then, but there was something called like Yik Yak or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. I think they just recently like came back or something. I think our, my roommate Bora or maybe Ryan or someone was telling us, but um, that the, the concept of that social media is pretty cool because it was like specifically on college campuses and it was all anonymous. So like... People could be like, yo, there's a party here, or, you know, because I'm sure that's like 90% of what was being used on the college, you know, social media stuff. But so you can put like slurs in there and no one would know. Man, I mean, there I are guess two you different could, but kinds of fucking people. Hey, huh? I'm just saying it as it is. That's probably what people used it for. Uh, Holden's talking about all this shit about how you can use it to bring people but- together. And Matthew's like. <laughs> there's okay, probably that one guy slur- that was like. I'm you so- are that one guy. Yeah, I'm not. I don't do that. <laughs> but I mean, how do we know though? Because it's anonymous. Yeah. <laughs> how do we know it's not you? It could all be you. You I could, guess it could be, be the source of cyberbullying. Anytime you could be the cyberbully. Anytime you guys see uh, anyone on the internet, um, you know, uh, you use slurs. It's always Matthew. Matthew has a network of accounts. So if someone just took me out, the internet would be like way better. No, yeah. because you scheduled posts. For the next 50 years. Oh, yeah. He has, oh like, he actually solved the AI problem years ago so that there's, like, an adaptive machine intelligence that will continue to mm-hmm. update, like, long after Matthew's dead. Yeah. Well, wasn't that, like, a Cowboy Bebop episode where it was, like, some guy, like, did this huge hack virus thing and then 50 years passed and it never triggered. And by the time, because it was on a timer, by the time it triggered and they were trying to, like, take him out, he was just this old guy with dementia like playing chess or whatever yeah. so it's gonna be you slurs are gonna be coming out on the on the internet in 50 years speaking of all that um cowboy people got canceled i saw that it mm. already got canceled which we've watched we watched the first episode and we we well, I, I was good i thought I, it was I, enjoyable yeah. well, like compared to the anime it's not good oh but yeah like Aside from some stilted dialogue, it was, like, entertaining to watch. But from what I've heard, people genuinely liked the first episode, and then it progressively got worse and worse and worse. And then the final episode where they bring Ed in, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure it's hard to make Just Ed work. seeing how also, Ed is in the anime, I don't know how that translates do you know to real how life the, in any way that doesn't look terrible. Yeah. Do you know how they play up the main plot, by the way? How? Besides just giving Vicious just way more screen time than he needs. Mm-hmm. Um... What's her, whatever her name is, Jessica, whatever her, the girl, the love interest, the name is. She shows up, shoots him, shoots and he's like, who? Um, vicious, and goes, "I want to take over the syndicate with you." Um, main character's name, Spike, and he goes, "No," and he shoots. He's the one that shoots him, and he. Oh, and he's like, "What?" <laughs> what? Yeah, that's an interesting. That way is to a do very that. different way than it actually goes. That's a very interesting way to do that. But um, man, you yeah, know, speaking of like, um, like for, you know, kind of franchises and stuff, uh, we had someone toxic lucidity um, ask just in general, kind of like, what franchises do we think have been like going on for too long, or what franchises would we love like sequels or like any games we want remastered? Kind of just general stuff like that. This is, so this is both a, not a very hot take, but something I've just been feeling recently is at the fucking MCU. Oh, I. It was, it was, people were already complaining back when they were doing like two or three movies a year. And I was like, this is okay as long as they're solid and like it kind of works. But now it's like three to four. It seems like they're increasing it again and including TV shows. I was going to say all the uh, Disney Plus like, stuff. Please. Uh, you can't. It's too much. No, I, they're going I, to keep turning the wheels on that franchise until the money machine breaks. Like that's how these things work. Because you were trying to, like, watch everything, right, in the MCU, Matthew? I, I, I really do an attempt. Because me and Corey watched WandaVision. That was good. I was like, okay, these other shows are going to be good. And then, like, I blinked and, like, three more shows came out. And then two more movies came out. And I watched Shang-Chi, and that was good. And I watched Eternals. 
got really mad. <laughs> I'm like, I, I hate doing good. it. I can't. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Yeah. And like, I, I think a big reason is like Endgame was just a good conclusion to everything that like, I, I got this far. I don't need to make it another attempt. <laughs> yeah. I remember I was going to try to watch MCU with you at some point, all the movies. And then it was like, oh yeah, there's 30 something movies. Like at that point in time, I mean, there's probably like 40 or 50 now. Like I'm really happy that I've always been a stick in the mud with the MCU and have just never liked it. Because now that people are coming around to not liking it, I get to feel smug. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's just, it's less that it's not as good. It's just, it's a new, they're going for another round. I'm like, I don't know if I have it in me, man. <laughs> That's know, literally like, it. It's for-profit movies, so it's like popcorn entertainment or whatever. Yeah. But I think everything. Like, I, I think I've woken up now. Yeah. That, like, no, I mean, is that is that. everything. And you can't say, I'm not going to not enjoy stuff that has profit motives. But, like, with them, it's so easy to tell that they're following a formula. Like, how do you release Thor The Dark World if you aren't trying to make movies by, like, what do you call it? Was Black that one committee? just really bad? I that mean, it was, was just, like, I don't, a I don't think that was husk of a movie. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that's a solace as, like, Eternals. I, I don't, well, no, no. Well, then that proves my point more. They're outdoing themselves <laughs> in levels of soullessness. See, I think it's one of those things where before Endgame, my assumption was people genuinely tried to, like, catch up because it was, like, you know, two a year or whatever, and it was really easy to watch them all. But I think at this point, most people, the best way to do it is do what you're doing, Matthew, and just watch what everyone's interest to you, right? Like, it doesn't seem they're all they're all connected, but it doesn't seem like... I mean, yeah, they're made so you can enjoy them as movies yeah. for the most part. Like, Son Chi was, like, own thing. yeah. Cause like I might, I still might watch that at some point. I thought that one was alright. It still felt like a Marvel movie. Well, yeah. I heard it was a good Marvel movie. Yeah. Now, I mean, you know, so you know, it's not like a, you know, masterpiece art movie. But um, I mean, I'm trying to think of other franchises uh that have like been going on too long. Um, freaking SpongeBob. I know uh it's kind of different because it's less of a franchise, but. I know uh, the creator of SpongeBob never, ever, ever wanted to uh, have a, uh, you know, spinoff of SpongeBob. As soon as the creator died, they made Camp Coral. And we watched uh, like half of one episode. And it is the, I mean, it's, it's, it's literally, SpongeBob was for kids. But like, you know, there was a little adult humor, like all kid shows. Camp Coral was literally like for like toddlers. And, th- and the thing is, is that itself is not offensive. It's like the whole purpose of, it's just the cat, the, the whole corporate overreach of oh. what, the, what he wanted what he wanted yeah which is i'm gonna also, shill on oh okay go ahead i was just gonna say um i saw a tweet that reminded me that i i don't know it's very odd parents still going or did oh, it finally it? end because i don't know Wait, they introduced it? they introduced another a female neighbor character that also just happened to be owners of the two fairly odd parents the same ones oh man there's and then they, they have the baby fairy Wait, so like, what, did Timmy grow up? No, Timmy's the same. They just introduced another kid. Well, why does they have, why does I this other don't kid know. have the same fairies? I do not know, because here's the thing. There's a frame that someone says, this frame goes against everything the lore set up the first season. And it was Vicky just with all these other characters, half of them fairies, the fairy baby, and the dad, and they all see them. And they're just okay with it now, I guess. Wait. I guess at this point in the story, they're just okay with it. And I'm like, wait. <laughs> that's when you know you run a show to the ground. Yeah, I didn't know that they... Uh, that was like the one doing? plot point they made in Fairy Odd Parents. Is yeah. their secret, and if you anyone finds out about it, they go away. They go. They do some hard time. Man. Th- so wait, is it still going on? I don't know. Are they don't still know. making Fairy... Just... I'm looking this up. I yeah, we gotta, to we gotta get some things. While you do that, I'm gonna shill on uh, Ca- Calvin and Hobbes for a while, because unlike things like Spongebob or whatever, um, Calvin and Hobbes is like a comic book strip and it's like one of my favorite comic book strips of all time. It's like part of my childhood, but, uh, he never let anyone do any, um, merchandise on, on it. He didn't want it to become like Garfield. Um, and, uh, so all of those stickers you see of like Calvin pissing on people, like on the back of people's cars. That is not that is not official. It does not represent. Are you, are you, is there you taking a stand against that? Yeah, those are so, because th- those stickers don't like. It's one thing like if you like there's fan made merchandise of Calvin and Hobbes. I think that's fine as long as it's like in the spirit of Calvin and Hobbes. You just hate that because it's, that's not what he's about. It's not. I mean, Calvin's a little shit, but like that's like specifically like. I don't know. I don't I, I do like. Know what you mean it doesn't I, fit it. 
it, it's not. I yeah, just, I just like that you're so mad about it. Um, it's just yeah. I mean, because I have a piece of I have a uh, my favorite artist Watsky. He made like a Halloween uh, merchandise limited thing and it had Calvin and Hobbes on the back of it because he loves Calvin and Hobbes, and so like that was awesome. But so what is is a uh, fairly odd so parent still going? It's over. It, when uh, did it end? But Chartman left in. 2018 and then it got so, canceled like two days later but it ran up until 2018 so i mean no yeah that that must i mean because we were watching that one like in 20 i don't know what 10 Apparently i mean it has like 10 seasons oh man that's crazy i know there were all i really cool... expected more i'm surprised at the amount of rerun content oh yeah i mean because i mean yeah having like what 10 years of Content I mean, to just still ten is well, what's some ten seasons is a lot. Yeah, you know what like really triggered people. It somehow triggered me, even though I'm honestly not that big of a fan of The Simpsons. Like I should never watch it as a kid. Um, is that one of the flashbacks in the new seasons of Homer has him as a '90s kid, like he's in the '90s, mm. even though the sh- he was in his '40s in the '80s. Like when did it come out? Like <laughs> I, <laughs> it's so weird. What does that mean? Yeah. They're they're stuck in like a relativistic trap where their past is always determined by what's the past. Uh, to when it's, it's like Batman. made. Dude, I uh, speaking of okay, so good, good thing I, I thought of two really good game franchises um, because obviously this year we just had the new Halo, the new Call of Duty, and the new Battlefield come out. And apparently, the new Halo game is like everyone's game of the year. Like the campaign is apparently fantastic. And then you have Call of Duty and Battlefield just like shitting the bed and like. I don't know, like, Battlefield at least, like, they don't make a game every year. Like, Call of Duty, you can understand that, like, Call of Duty is garbage, because it's, like, every year. And that's why I always kind of put them a little bit, because it seems like they they were like, all right, we're going to try again, we're going to see what we're going to do something. Yeah. Sometimes it's Battlefield 1, ooh, Battlefield World War 1, it's pretty cool. Sometimes Battlefield Hardline, where, like, I don't know if Battlefield works as a cops and robbers game. I don't know how you do Levolution. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that one did very well. <laughs> but then again, would I? So, but yeah, but then the newest Battlefield still sucks. I mean, like that that was that's just bad development. Again, it's that that's why I said for the game uh, awards, I just wanted a game to come out that was good on release. Oh, that, that's why. See, Halo Infinite got delayed like four or five times, and everyone was shitting on it. Um, Wait, it they came were shitting out? on a free game getting delayed? Well, I the multiplayer is free. I don't think people knew it was free to begin with, but mm. I think people just are salty when things get delayed. But I, I heard like a lot of really reactionary vitriol towards the game, but as the internet's cooled down more, I've been hearing more and more positive things. Oh yeah. I mean so yeah, it turns out that those delays were what the game needed because the game both multiplayer and I know pe- people don't like the cosmetic monetization of Halo Infinite's multiplayer and they got really toxic and they had to shut down the Halo subreddit um, because they were being too uh, toxic. But um, overall, outside of like these specific angry bubbles of the internet, uh, I mean, the delays helped Halo Infinite. It's a free game. Yeah, exactly. Like the multiplayer. Yeah, like, like, how are you going to complain? I mean, like, I get it. I'm not normally one to be like, oh, look at how much they're giving you. But like for a video game like studio as big as uh microsoft doing yeah yeah i mean and so the campaign is 60 dollars, which at that point you you know it kind of makes you think okay was the campaign really work but apparently it is i mean apparently the campaign i mean there's like breath of the wild halo yeah it's like yeah i was watching um my girlfriend like watch some that is delayed for a couple months but it will be okay so i'm just gonna wait until it's co-op and then play i feel like what they're trying to do is like revive it because it's like in the zeitgeist i felt like halo has kind of been like losing relevance oh, yeah and i feel like they're trying to like make a push to get the zoomers playing it so that they have a whole nother generation of people to exploit for uh <laughs> you know nostalgia yeah i mean so but yeah i because it seems like it worked but i mean going to call of duty and battlefield there's, i just <sighs> there's those, those games where i'll be like and like you'll see gameplay of a new game and you're like bro <laughs> like, the, and that's why Halo was I'm like I'm seeing the gunplay I'm like god that gun effect that gun sound effect the grappling hooks grappling hooks are sick in Halo Infinite oh, they added a grappling hook yeah yeah, dude. yeah. And, and it, it is it's incredible you it can feels knock so a, a warhog and hook onto it with the leverage yeah do like like have <laughs> you ever seen those sick. 
Have you ever seen those like videos or gifs of um, people playing Breath of the Wild and breaking the physics where they like go flying across the map? Like d people mm -hmm. were already doing that in Halo Infinite like campaign by yeah, like like Matthew said, hit a warthog, grappling hook it, that momentum just <coughs> carries you like a hundred miles, which the fact that the campaign map is like that long is is pretty awesome. Uh, Have you seen the clip where the guy's in his head, the voice in his head, and he's like, it's a computer. I can't, uh, it needs to be hacked. And then he's like, do you know how? No. And he just punches it. <laughs> oh, I actually have. <laughs> I walked in when uh, Caitlin was watching a let's play of, of that. Um, man, but like, wouldn't it be nice if call of duty like did what battlefield did and then like just <laughs> released call of duty like every two or three years. Like, yeah, it would be nice, but they make less money. money though. So, and you know what game really suffers from that? Daniel mentioned it before that we were recording, but Assassin's Creed. Oh, it's one thing to make a shooter, like a multiplayer shooter. You kind of get it. It's like a seasonal thing. Yeah, you get the new characters. It's like fucking football for some reason. People, I never really understand it, but you get it every year. Yeah. Um, but for like Assassin's Creed is an open world game with a plot, which and, side and, quests. And, yeah, and, and like there's all it's an open world game. And then for a while they were cranking one out like every, it was every year. year. Yeah. And then they Bro. were like Okay, so yeah, because then they were like, Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we realize this isn't Even good. Far Cry doesn't do every year. See, but okay, that yeah, that's what perplexes. And that's like me. a super How generic. How do you still make terrible games <laughs> if you get if you have that long? I mean I know I mean that's, that's oversimplification. That, that's a, what about Cyberpunk? Cyberpunk. Oh my god, <laughs> Cyberpunk. Man. Yeah, let me tell you, that reeks of like middle management go or going, okay, you need to improve like the fidelity of how this looks like and you know, that taking precedence over finishing the game taking precedence because yeah. it was like beautifully polished to like a mirror shine, but like where effort mattered, that being like the coding and you know, I don't know about the gameplay, but I know yeah. it was broken on launch. I people still can't play it on the original uh, consoles. Really, it is it is still delisted, and I don't think it'll ever get listed again. I watched a comparison video, um, like just a minute comparison video, like this week, showing like 2018, 2017 when they were showing like the demo off at E3, and then like launch day on those or OG consoles, and it is like so bad. It looks like if you played like I didn't realize how bad those console versions looked it literally looks like old GTA games like GTA like San Andreas or stuff like that it, like it's pretty bad it it's is. the thing is is like when you actually play it it's still an RPG made by the same guys who did the Witcher so it's still like a good game you just realize like how much expectations really change your perspective on how a game should be mm. and Jesus Christ did they really try to shut that shit in Oh yeah, I, I, God, um, I used to watch Funhouse before like anything was out for that game, and it was the funniest thing when they would make fun of like when someone there was a whole article dedicated to them saying, "Guys, Cyberpunk confirmed on Steam," and and the other guys would be like, the, "All the other games were on Steam, but it's not <laughs> big news." He's like, "It's what we have right now," and like <laughs> they would have this. It was just so fucking good. Yeah, and then like it carried over. Like the hype was just so much that like every like. Everyone was excited for the game. And they're like, this game, you can be kind of trans. And shit was flipping out all over the place. And then it was like, you can also, I'm sorry, guys, you can't be in third person. And it was like, they make this giant apology. And like, it was just so dramatic. Everything, yeah. And then every time they like delayed the game, all the devs were getting like death. Can you imagine if that game hadn't got delayed? Like the four times it got delayed, like it that needed was, to be delayed like three more times. That was so but, funny. Is like you think, yeah, like they were really trying, but it also maybe been like evidence of like it's okay. So I finish it, and you're like, okay, uh, actually, we'll work on it a little bit more. Okay, they need to do the thing that um, Nintendo does, and I doesn't Bethesda or as well, where they like announce a game and then the game's out like six months later. Bethesda did that with Fallout Four, and that was probably the best. That was honestly cool. I know Nintendo does that. Nintendo will be like, yo, um, you know how you guys have been waiting for a new uh, Mario Party game? Uh, it's out in like a month. And everyone's like, what the... F like, everyone's like just like freaking out. I think like, that's a much better way of doing hype. Because if you like... I don't know. Hype is like building tension. And are you expecting like build people's excitement for like two years while you actually make the game? Or yeah. do you want to like build their excitement for a month which is way easier and then just like have people buy your finished you product. don't really suffer from this attack on titan and um one punch man they both had like 
really killed like when they first premiered everyone loved it because it was season one of attack on titan season one of uh, one punch man i think like five years passed before either of them got like a second season and then the second season of one punch man at least is the worst shit on the freaking planet dude i, mean, I think that's a bit hyperbolic was, yeah, it's not as that's good definitely hyperbolic <laughs> i i think it's it's just a it's just a hype expectation thing honestly it like is it is not season two attack of one on punch titan man. season two it's so good yeah i was gonna say i i still need to finish because uh, attack on titan's or, done done season right two. No, season four, yet. part two is going up finally. Gotcha. Wait, wait, really? Yeah, that's all I was really for, at least. Oh, sick. Like, how soon is it, know. like, out, out? I'm not uh, the biggest fan. Tell me, of Attack tell on me. <laughs> Matthew, tell me. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, um, five years from now. No, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, man, I'm trying to think of other game franchises or things that either, like, are there any that, like, we wish were, there were more of? Uh, this isn't a game franchise, but have you seen King and Ashura, the uh, anime oh. adaptation on Netflix? It is uh, a Baki-like show, but like it has a plot, and it's really, really, really fun to watch. And they haven't updated it for season two yet because Netflix is full of cowards. So, oh, because that's uh, the one where it's just a bunch of like fi- it's like a fist fighting. Yeah, it's like-, like a gladiatorial fist fight, uh, and these like mega rich uh corporate assholes are like playing this power game as the backdrop to this just giant tournament arc someone said let's make an anime uh that's just the entire thing is one tournament arc so brutal and they lean into it and it's so good so do, do you think it isn't getting renewed because it didn't do well enough or because it's like a little bit more on the violent brutal side well, first of all, that second thing wouldn't bother Netflix, and like, yeah, I guess it's true. It's not like it's been, you know, shut down or anything. Just Netflix hasn't said anything, and it's been like years. So my hope Dang. is going away. Because it, it, it's based on a manga, right? That obviously yeah. has a lot of. And the manga is really good. I finished Ashura, and I got started on like the second follow-up manga, Omega. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty good see like i wonder there were certain like character development things they didn't do in the anime and honestly with how much they crammed into like what happened in the anime i i could see certain things being dropped because when you read the actual manga it's like kind of dense with oh. like the character interactions mm-hmm. like they flesh out all of the characters a lot which was one of the things i liked the most about the show itself was it took time to flesh out like each individual character characters that you thought would be like a one-off joke <laughs> characters the mickey mouse meme mascot who's also like a biker gangster has a backstory that gets fleshed out in the manga it's great that's insane see i wonder if netflix owns the entire rights to that or like if like i wonder if that studio wants to go make it but like because netflix isn't giving them the go-ahead they can't I'm so interested in like, yeah, behind the scenes of that's the one thing that is cool about Netflix is that they like fund a lot of stuff, but that's also the bad thing because they cancel a lot of stuff, obviously. They canceled. Oh, that's something you, 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 I, you fucking unlocked a secret memory of like, what would be something I want to continue is the daredevil shit like all those series oh. Nate, Luke Cage and Iron, whatever the Iron Man. No, Iron yeah, you want to give a little, yeah, give a little like backstory, not backstory, but, uh, People probably know about it, it's it. literally just like Marvel. Yeah, there's like four Marvel shows on Netflix, and Daredevil and Jessica Jones are really good. And like, then they really did good. Luke Cage, that was like people said mediocre, right? And then there was the Iron uh, Fist that everyone that hated. Was, yeah, it was it wasn't good. It was just kind of annoying. And then they were gonna have a crossover show with all of. They did, and it was okay. See, I, I think yeah, it, it would be nice to have more of. Like, yeah, like you said, Daredevil and Jessica Jones. I think that was an example. They went way too ambitious with that. They were trying to make their own little, like, MCU. I know it's Marvel, but, like, they were trying to make their own little, really like, were. five different shows that were all going to be running at the same time, and they were going to be intertwined. So if you watched one series, you really should be watching the all four other ones. Like, I think if they had just stuck to, like, two, they I think it could have been more fleshed out. Punisher was okay, too. But Punisher had some weird storytelling things was that a separate show or was that season was three separate... of daredevil oh so that also good but there were six out of punisher it was five i guess it's six because yeah the, the defenders is his own thing so i didn't know there were six i thought every time someone said punisher i thought that was just in daredevil season three no they, they have a punisher show they made it after because punisher was so popular in daredevil season three yeah two 
Or oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So, ben, what? Wait, have you seen the Punisher like show? I have. Yeah. What do they do with that? Because I'm curious, like, what you do with that <laughs> it's character. It's very... You know what annoys me is... Do you remember the guy in season one of Daredevil at the very beginning? He's, like, the gun dealer guy that's, like, the, the he always gets beat up, and that's his joke. Do you remember him, Holden? I remember you describing him to me. But he traffics women in the first episode. So I'm like, I don't know why they made him the butt of the joke. The because cause he, later on, all he does is does arm deals. I'm like, okay. But you kind of lose sympathy with him. Yeah, like, it's hard <laughs> to, like, have that, like, humorous... Yeah, empathy for a character when yeah they but anyway, do that like that same character the Punisher just he shows up with the Punisher and he just doesn't kill him he chooses that character to not kill mm. I'm like okay mm. Punisher you've killed people for far <laughs> far less yeah no that's uh, I'm a I gotta I gotta look this up um because I think the um the adventures adventures of cookie and cream i think um is the Wait, is that the from video software game, right yeah d- from, software. from software game? Th- that they're the people that made dark souls right yeah that yeah. makes so, so much sense i didn't know that yeah so th- there was a game on the playstation 2 the so ds funny. and playstation 3 called the adventures of cookies and cream and it was my favorite game ever that no one would play with me and it was a co-op game where the screen was split in half and you both had to like do like things to help each other so one person would have to cross like a log bridge but that would cause the other person to have to like you know pull the logs in certain ways that needs a sequel and i find it hilarious that that game is made by the developers that made dark souls and stuff like that's one of their first games that they ever made it is nothing like any of the dark well, souls isn't it games. like really hard that's what i've heard from people rockstar I made could a, see that i don't think i ever got far because no one would rockstar play made a with me. pretty good fucking ping pong game in the oh, middle really? of their GTA collection. Like, in the middle of them making GTAs, they made a ping pong game, and apparently people that play ping pong games like it. The, like, it's a, it's a good ping how, pong game. How big of a market is, like, the ping pong video game? I don't know. Well, especially with VR, I've I've seen a lot of ping pong VR video. I have played a ping pong VR game, and it worked very well, and I was very impressed with it. And then I only played it for an hour because, I mean, I'm not the most <laughs> interested in ping pong VR games, but... Bro, remember we rolling? No, bowling, not rolling. Wait, what? Bully? We bowling. Oh, we bowling? That- I remember throwing the ball back at the people behind me because I was evil. You could also throw it into other people's lanes. Oh, like, yeah, that was- I remember that. Wait, what happens when you throw it back? What happens? What happens when you throw a ball and it hits a me and their giant egg-shaped head? They just immediately die. No, but everyone just, like, jumps back. All the me's jump back and they uh, go, ah! or something like that. Um I forgot about the me's. Man, I'm trying to remember. Uh, okay, you want to? Okay, game franchise that the freaking Mario Party franchise. Or actually, not Mario. Okay, no, not Mario Party. I, Mario Kart, because I I realized a new Mario Party just came out, and I didn't even really care to get it. But Mario Kart, there has not been a new Mario Kart game in like eight or nine years now, because they released whatever the newest one is on the Wii U, and then it's it might have been the Wii. No, 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 it was Wii U, but now it's Switch. <laughs> Nintendo is really weird because like Smash Ultimate is basically Smash Four, but they added a bunch of characters. Right? Yeah, and cha- yeah, it, it, they added all the characters, and then they obviously changed the gameplay a little bit. They sped it up a lot to make it a little bit more like Melee, which is why people actually like really like Ultimate because there were still people complaining about Four or whatever, rightfully so. But um, yeah, no, that's a that's an interesting thing. I'm trying to think, any other game franchises that you guys think shouldn't should stop existing immediately or any games or TV shows there's or gotta, anything. No, there's gotta be something that's continuing. Matthew, Family Guy's dead, Matthew, so we don't have to worry about that. Are you playing any games right now? Uh, I'm playing a little bit of uh, Total War Warhammer. I hope that the Total War series comes to a screeching halt. Matthew would probably be fine with that because he would just continue playing the current. No, no. Like, Total so Warhammer bad game. they have to remove all copies <laughs> of Total War products. Actually, oh, I, I take that back. I I love Total War. <laughs> I know uh, uh, Caitlin uh, would really like them to make a new Viva Pinata game, because she really liked that game, and I I um she wanted she wanted to play it, and I was like, oh well, like I was like, I looked it up, and obviously it's on old Xbox, but you would have to have the game, but it apparently was on PC, and I was like, oh, you know, let me let me like buy this. You can't buy it um, digitally, and you have to pirate it and you have to do this whole crack thing because it was DRM'd through the Windows 
games on PC. That's or why whatever. I don't see me people playing that game because I remember that being kind of popular when it came out. Yeah, no, it's just impossible to the, play. It took the, me like three hours to get it working for her. <laughs> And then, I mean, she played it so well, much. After me, you got a legal copy and then mm-hmm. transferred Well, Caitlin owns a legal copy. But no, yeah. I didn't know your girlfriend was a neon ape, Holden. A neon ape. Yeah, exactly. No, but... Um, we weren't Viva supposed Pinata. to reveal that until the third season. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was... Yeah, that after was... the cancer arc where I uh, fake my death. Or, I mean, I die. Um, <laughs> and then I come back in the fourth season. Okay. But, like, well, see, that's what happened last season, episode. I'll be haunting the set and shit. Yeah, any time that any of us, like, you know, because we all have busy schedules. So, like, last week, uh, you got turned into a Ryan. We'll just canonically say that um, we're faking our deaths. Matthew's pulling my phone out of out of uh, I, out of I my was pocket. In finals. I wish I could have faked my death to like get out of that. Oh, get out of those week. finals! I'm sorry. Oh, okay. just yeah. That entire week, I wish I could have just opted out of like being conscious. Man, being conscious. Yeah, I just hear everyone talking about um, people. Yeah, you or lucky school. motherfucker! You got out after two years. I got in and out. Sometimes when I don't feel like doing mm. math in my head while I'm driving, I'll call people and ask them what the answer is. Yeah, you did that <laughs> earlier. Wait. I was really confused. I did Wait, it like what? Uh, that was probably like three weeks ago. I was driving and I was like, "What's the square root of this number?" And he's like, "That." And I was like, "Thank you." Well, were you just curious? You were yeah. just thinking to yourself. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I did it to Bora today. What What was the question you asked Bora? What was the square root of twenty five? Five. Why did you, Wait? You, why did you need to ask did, him? Yeah. So. Because I was curious. But how did but you not know the you answer? Not know to that? that. I knew the answer. What, you were just checking to see if Boar knew the answer? Yeah. Okay. Okay, <laughs> mister. Okay, mister. No, I was uh, I was streaming today, and I was uh, streaming Hollow Knight, which, speaking of which, they're making a sequel for, and it just keeps getting delayed. Not even delayed. They just haven't announced a release date. And every time, like, the Game Awards happen, everyone, the whole Hollow Knight community gets all hyped. You know, maybe, maybe there's some news will come out, and then literally nothing comes out about uh, Silk Song, and everyone's like... Like, they always, like, post, like, the picture of Hollow Knight with, like, a clown wig on. Like, you know, like, they're all, like, clowns for thinking that they would get any news. But that's a game. It's, like, take as much time as you want. Hollow Knight, one of the best games on the planet. Um, and I know Silk Song will as well. But I was playing. Oh, is that what, what the fuck Silk Song is? Everyone was Silk talking Song about is, it. Yeah, the Hollow Knight sequel. Because originally, Hollow Knight was a Kickstarter, right? And there was a Kickstarter milestone goal of, oh, okay, well, if we hit this goal, then um, you'll be able to play as that uh, Silk Song or the, you know, the female character. And that Kickstarter made so much money that they added so much content as free DLC and paid DLC to Hollow Knight. But then they were like, okay, this whole playable character, this is so much, we're going to just turn this into a whole full-fledged game, which everyone is happy about because that means we're going to get another hollow Knight game but i'm so hyped for that but i was streaming and two people that were watching were both like yeah there are hurricanes going on right now but uh, i'm still i'm still watching this stream and i'm like okay like good I, i'm thank you like but please stay safe and then like halfway through the stream they're like oh yeah sorry uh, i i i had to go uh, like board up my windows like because my window is like cracking and i'm like what like you're giving them respite from the hurricane. I guess so. You guide them through E3. I just want to let you know I'm bleeding out as I type this. <laughs> One of the board was, was loose and the wind forced it and it shredded my lower abdomen. <laughs> I was, I was like, I was distracted by uh, your stream. I wasn't able to properly. The adrenaline uh, from your Binding of Isaac run is enough to let me type this. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I, uh, back when I used to work for my previous job, we had a virtual assistant. I think I told you guys maybe, but, um, she lived in the Philippines and she would just constantly be like, um, Oh, sorry. I got to get away. There's just a earthquake going on. And I would always be like, Oh my, yes, please take as much time as you want. But like, she would just be like, like every month, everything like in our house would just get knocked off the walls. And like the Philippines is like a lot of hurricanes. I would not Earthquakes I would or hurricanes? like to live in a Probably place both. that has a mean number of hurricanes of zero. Yeah. I mean, because... Speaking of the Punisher, their president treats uh, the drug war as if every officer should have the same rights as the Punisher. Oh. That was a political... That's technically a political joke, but I'm fine with it because it's not It's not a very infamous fu- like joke. You're a... When are you going to be a um, political comedian where you just... Go up to do stand-up comedy. My, my bit would be, do- I would be, a, I would be a political comedian, but it would be a different, complete take of being a politician every time I went on there. 
What do you mean? Like you would? Like, I would. I would be super Christian fundamentalist one day, making fun of uh, evolution, and I would go on <laughs> the next day with a business suit, and I would talk about crypto and talk about how everything needs to be free market, even firefighters. Um, and then the next day, uh, I would get kicked off because of what I would be wearing. And then the next day, <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 rewind. I'm rewind, sure. Rewind, I'm sure. Rewind. I, I don't think you could dress be dressed up as like a Soviet soldier. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. No, well, I mean, sense. it depends on. Well, are you guys thinking something else? Well, I don't know. If you go to certain bars, you might like. Yeah, I was gonna say. Also, can I you know places you would not get weird looks? Can you? Well, you get weird looks, but they'd like you. <laughs> can you draft dodge by saying you're a communist? Because I saw someone. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think this is the right show. I don't know where no, I This is the right <laughs> show. I mean, because I saw bro. someone TikTok today, and, and they were like, they were like, that makes it better. They were that making makes a so- joke about how they couldn't be in the army because they were part of the Communist Party of that, America. Or I, I wouldn't be surprised if that was like somehow like they were they just didn't hire from there. But I don't think that's officially true. <laughs> Because uh, I'd be, uh, I mean, I already got, se- I think, yeah, I've, I've already got several ways to dr- dodge draft. I think I'm like flat footed. I don't think you can be, though, at the point of the, if a draft actually happened, they would probably get rid of a lot of the ways to dodge the draft, I would assume. What do you mean? Like, like it would also, just be like a draft at this point would be literal political, like suicide. Oh, yeah, it's honestly, very unlikely. I don't think anyone on either side wants to draft. No, oh, yeah. Right now. Yeah, no, for for real. So, um I mean, yeah, no, this was this was a hilarious podcast, honestly. Um so I uh, <laughs> We ended on draft yeah, just, dodging. Just add on, we on ended draft on dodging. the draft and draft dodging. <laughs> Come back to Neon Eights whenever you want yeah. lighthearted discussion about games. Watch our, the, the the people that watch our podcast all come from like um Philippines and specifically are very strong supporters of the guy I made fun of. Watch oh yeah, no, yeah, that we're Matthew's gonna we're gonna be canceled, canceled because of uh because of that. Yeah, no, so because I guess he got voted in, so probably has some fans. I have no context or not context, but I am not educated enough to speak on anything you would, but I'm not educated enough to talk on anything that we would probably talked on today. So. Especially the communist. Uh, well, you don't need a degree to have political opinions. <laughs> oh man, but um, yeah, no. Hope you guys enjoyed us talking about completely random things at completely random times. Um, thank you, Talks of Lucidity, uh, for uh. You know, giving us the uh, kind of theme of the the episode. Um, Thank you guys, everyone, for, um, you know, watching and listening. Um, And, uh, you know, the few of you that are, you know, like watching every episode and commenting and stuff, you know, really means a lot to us. Um, And, uh, yeah, no, we appreciate you guys. So uh, we'll uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. (laughs) 